Mother Raffles, a life in service of others. The Sisters of Charity of Saint Anne introduce you with fondness the figure of Maria Raffles. She was a child like you. She prayed, studied, played, but everything she did, she did with kindness, gentleness and love. Maria Raffles Bruna was born in Villa Franca del Pendis, Barcelona on the 5th November of 1781. Her parents were called Cristobal and Margarita. They lived in a typical Catalan house. When she was newly born, two days old, she was baptized in her village parish church, Santa Maria de Villa Franca. She had more brothers and sisters and she liked to play with them, especially with the youngest one. Jews, whom all called the joy of the house. She was a very hard-working girl and she helped a lot her mother in the housework. She had a great heart. She grew up and started to go to her village school. When the school finished, she liked to run around the countryside and play with the flowers under the blue sky. She used to spend long time with her mother next to the fireplace, learning from her life of Jesus and his love for humankind. Maria Raffles lived a simple and serene youth. Only one thing mattered, to devote herself to God and the others. Then she met a Catalan priest, John Bernal, and together they thought about how they could help sick and poor people. In 1804, with a group of 11 friends, she went to Zaragoza to found a new religious family. The Congregation of the Sisters of Charity of St. Anne. She was 23. On the 28th of December, they prayed together at the feet of the Virgin del Pilar to ask her for help in their new undertaking. Father Jean Bonal took them to the hospital of Our Lady of Grace. There the sick people were in a very bad situation, very neglected. With their affection and taking in, they started to show to everybody that God is our Father and He loves us. 188 French wanted to seize Spain. The War of Independence started. The sisters did not care about dangers and difficulties. They kept taking care of the sick people with the same care suffering to such an extent that some of them died. They also helped the prisoners that were in jail. One day, Maria Raffles went to the French camp to ask the general to liberate some of their prisoners. Some other times, she used to go and ask for food and water for the injured. Maria Raffles had understood very well Jesus. Words from the Gospel Whatever you did for my brothers and sisters, you did for me. For all she did. Some years later, the city of Zaragoza awarded her with the title of heroine. Her innocence was proved a year later. However, she was exiled to Huesca. The years after the war were tough and difficult. The sisters went through very difficult moments to the extent that they were in the point of disappearing. Maria Raffles went to jail. In Huesca, the sisters started with a new undertaking, the education and formation of the children at school. Back in Zaragoza, after six years of exile, she was in charge of a group of helpless children with whom she acted as a true mother.
she fell ill and gradually she got worse on the 30th of august of 1853 she died the seed of wheat was buried in the furrow the spring transformed it in a full year the growth and expansion of her work and now from heaven she really loves children and everybody mother maria raffles body was buried in the second chamber at the end of the crypt on the left opposite father john bonal who was on the right a simple inscription marked her niche here lies mother maria raffles foundress of the sisters of charity of saint anne who died on 30th august 1853 age 72 rest in peace